Are you getting an 1102 error? Are you using Gmail to scan? We've been getting this question at the help desk almost daily now. How come it was working before and is no longer working now? Gmail made some changes with the two-step authentication and is now requiring any device that would like to send using a Gmail account have a secure password. I'm Tara and I'm with the help desk and here's a video to help you fix that problem. My first question is going to be, am I using a Gmail account? Well, let's take a walk over to the machine and I'm going to show you how to find out. We're going to go to our system menu, go to reports, we're going to print two reports. A print report, a status page, sure you want to print this, yes, and our network status, sure you want to print this, yes. And close that back out. There's two pieces of information you're going to need. From your status page, you need your IP address. And on page three of your network status page, you're going to look at the top where you can see your sender address. Now that you know what Gmail account you're using, you're going to need your password so you can log in and follow these next steps. Once you're logged into your Gmail account, we're going to go up to these dots here and go to our Google Apps. We're going to go to our account and we're going to click on security. Once we've gotten to this point, we're going to need to turn on our two-step verification and get started. We're going to have to enter our password in for our Gmail account. All right, and you're going to have to send a verification code to your cell phone. You can choose to get a phone call if that's your preferred method. Once that verification code is sent to your phone, you're going to need to enter it in here. And click Turn On. Now there's a little verification that you've accomplished your two-step verification. We're going to go back to our Google account. Now that you've got your two-step verification turned on, when you go in to signing into Google, you'll see that you now have an area for apps passwords. We're going to click on that. Once again, we're going to have to enter our password. We're going to select an app. and We're going to choose Other. We're just going to name it Kyocera Scanner. It doesn't matter what words you use at this point. Click Generate. Here's the password you need to write down or screenshot. Once you click Done, that password will go away and you will not be able to retrieve it again. You will have to start over. We're going to leave this here so we can come back to it in a minute after we log in. Now we're going to go back to that IP address that we gathered earlier in the video. We're going to open up a web browser and we're going to take that address and enter it into our address field. This is going to take you into the command center of your machine. You're going to log in with your username and your password. Your username is going to be admin and your password will be admin with a capital A for both the username and the password. Once you're into your copier command center, we're going to go down to our function settings and email. We'll copy this password we just created can do an easy copy paste or you can type it in. We'll go over here, we'll paste that in. Remember it is case sensitive and it does need to be exact. You can click the test button, verify that your settings are working correctly. Once you get a successful connection, you click submit and you're all set. You should be able to scan with no issues. Thanks for watching. If you do have any further questions, don't forget to visit us online at ais-now.com or give us a call.